I'm really grateful to be here with you in this space at this time to celebrate your tremendous accomplishment. And it is a tremendous accomplishment. Whatever anyone has gone through to be here on this day and to be poised to move forward in a better way than in the past has in and of itself accomplished something tremendous that should not be overlooked and that should be celebrated and, um, and lifted up as much as possible. I don't want to take a lot of time this morning, I want to, or this afternoon, excuse me. Uh, I want to really see the, the floor over to you and to really share in your joy and your accomplishment. But I also want to share just a couple of things with you really quick. I, again, I'm Robert Rogers. I'm here on behalf of County Supervisor John Joya. And we are here because we believe in you and we believe in this program. We know that what goes on at the Reentry Center, which we support at the county with everything we have, we know that it's something special there and that this is the kind of thing that's building our community. We believe in empowered people. That's why we believe in this program. We want to be part of your team. I want to share us a couple of quick ideas. Our failures or our setbacks, they do make us stronger. What's crucial is that we believe it to be so. If we believe it, we always are able to achieve it. I also want to say that the people you surround yourself with, your team, is going to be a huge part of deciding how fulfilling and how successful your life is and how happy it is as well. Who are you surrounding yourself with? What are those people doing with and for you? We'll revisit that again. And lastly, struggle makes us stronger. It's a, it's a, it's a fact in all aspects of natural and scientific and even religious life, right? What holds us down, if we can overcome it, we emerge stronger. Every peak that we scale, we get there stronger than we were when we were at the bottom of the mountain. And also every peak, everything that we enjoy, it's greater the lower the depth that we once experienced before. You see this in Christianity, in <clears throat> Islam, in any religion really, <clears throat> and you also see it in the natural world and in science as well. I want to quote briefly uh, Nelson Mandela. and He said, do not judge me by my successes. Judge me by how many times I fell down and got back up again. And that really resonates with me and I imagine it might with you also. That's what it's about. Whenever there's someone standing on a podium or whenever there's someone celebrating, or whenever there's someone accomplishing something great like you have today, we know there's a backstory. And we know that why it's so sweet and so powerful and so profound isn't because of this day itself. It's because of everything that was overcome to get to this day. You're really a champion. And no one can fully understand your story as well as you can. And that's a good thing for you. Because when you understand your story and you understand that you're powerful beyond measure for having gotten to where you are, that's really the most powerful thing that you can have moving forward. I want to go back again to that idea of struggle is strength, right? If I have a weight in my hand and I pull it up and down many times, my arm will get stronger. Similarly, if I miss a bunch of answers on a test and I have a bad score, well, as long as I try, try again, and I put my mind to it, I will do better the next time. It's in every aspect, again, of our lives. We know the struggle is the way. Adversity is the best. The only, the only thing that can stand in the way is if our minds take on a sense of defeatism. If we see the struggle as a waste, if we see our backgrounds or our pasts as a problem, as something we regret, then it's not going to empower us. So please, what's happened has happened. Understand it's good that it's happened. I don't care how bad it was. Believe that it's good because it made you who you are and you'll be powerful beyond measure moving forward. And lastly, talk about that team again. Always take stock of this. I do it myself all the time. Who are the people I'm spending time with? And what do they do for me or with me? 
right? Are the people that I'm around, are they inducing me to do things that might not be good for me? Are they less than happy when I succeed? Are they telling me about doubts and about the reasons I won't succeed or the reasons I will fail more than the otherwise? These are ways to understand these might not be the kinds of people who are empowering me. These might not be the kinds of people I want to be around a lot. I'm not saying they're bad people. Absolutely not. But I want you to think to yourself, how can I help them? But also, how can I be sure that they are not hurting me? And how can I surround myself with people who make me feel like I can do my best? I know the kind of people that you're around in your cohort there and in this program and at the reentry center. I know these people. I know people like Tiffany and Pat and Rick and many others. These are power people. These are the kinds of people that you want to be around that help you to do what you want to do. Help your life have meaning. Help you be better for yourself, for your family, and for those you love and your community. That's what we're all here about, right? This is all about making lives better, ours and those around us, children. We do that the stronger and more powerful and more compassionate we become. I really want to congratulate you again on this incredible achievement. I'm so excited for what each and every one of you can do moving forward because I know that it's great and I know the potential is limitless. So go forward, write your story, celebrate today. You, what you can do, no one yet knows, but we'll find out. Thanks again very much and congratulations.